Okay guys, I just wanted to make a quick short video to show you how we sometimes make our scroll saw patterns. A lot of times we like to put maybe like a landscape into our patterns or maybe like an animal or something. And rather than draw it out by hand, which we do with a lot of our patterns, um, it's easier just to snag a picture off of pixabay.com, which is where you can find some really cool free public domain images. Um, it's just easier just to throw those into paint.net, which is another free software, and just make a silhouette of them. The easiest way to do that is to go up to your adjustments panel after you've loaded your image and go down to the black and white and then click on adjustments again and go to brightness and contrast and then you want to turn the contrast all the way up and that instantly makes it a black and white and then as far as uh, getting rid of some of the smaller stuff that would be hard to cut out you can see those down around here the little dots and stuff which you would just ignore anyway or maybe even up here um, you can uh, play with the brightness and kind of get rid of some of those and then you'll obviously want to ignore them anyway when you're cutting out and then also it would be kind of a pain in the butt to print out that much black ink on something so you can go also up to the adjustments layer again and go down to invert colors and then you would only have to cut out the black if that's the way you're wanting to approach this another way to do this is to load up the same image and then go up to adjustments and make it black and white again and then you'll go to adjustments and to levels in the same menu and then you can move this off to the side and then you can play with these sliders and kind of get the that black and white look again and maybe this gives you just a little bit more control um, to get rid of some of those small uh, small things you wouldn't want in there and again you can just play around with it and then uh, same thing Okay, adjustments and then invert colors so and then you would want to ignore some of the gray stuff but that's uh, a couple simple ways you can make some silhouette scroll patterns I hope this helps